I'm John Hall, and we're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of hydraulic ventilation. When the topic of nozzle and stream selection comes up, there's always the debate of how we're going to hydraulically ventilate a structure. People often say that you can't hydraulically ventilate with a smooth bore. That's just simply not true. The fact of the matter is, if we put it at half bale or subtly less than a half bale, we can move a tremendous amount of air with it. Here's an example of hydraulically ventilating with a fog nozzle. We start the stream out the window and then back it slowly in, filling the entire window, trying to get the most air movement possible. You can see it's very efficient at drawing the smoke and products of combustion out of the building. We did two experiments with the smoothbore nozzle. Here it is with a tip on, half bailed. You can see it's very effective. We're moving a tremendous amount of smoke and products of combustion out of that building. And here it is with the tip spun off, half bailed. You can also see it's very effective. One thing to keep in mind is if you remove the tip, it's important to keep track of it. So if fire conditions change, you can add it back on. And also after the fire is extinguished, we want to ensure that our tack package is ready to go for the next fire. But we have to keep in mind when we're using this technique. It's not when it's super hot in here and we need a vent right away. If that's the case, we need to flow water to ensure our safety inside. The last thing we want to do is go over to a window, add ventilation, and then pull that heat towards us. We want to make sure that we're doing this after the fire's knocked down. And as always with hydraulic ventilation, we want to ensure that the backup firefighters are always looking around behind us to ensure we're not drawing any fire conditions on top of the crew that's operating at the window.